Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss part 2 from grade 10, uh, part 2 of unit heredity from grade 10 science that is chromosomes. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. And if you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends. And also don't forget to say uh, give your valuable response in comment section. Chromosomes. Chromosomes are thread like structure made up of DNA and proteins that carry genetic information in the form of genes. They are found within the nucleus of eukaryotic cells uh, and plays a fundamental role in the transmission of hereditary traits from one generation to next. Chromosomes was uh, chromosomes were first discovered by Stratus Berg in 1815 and the term chromosome was first used by Waldier in 1888. Human beings have 46 chromosomes in their body. These are arranged in 23 pairs. The main components of a chromosomes are nucleic acid and protein. Nucleic acid Nucleic acids are naturally occurring chemical compounds that serve as the primary information carrying molecules in cells. They play an especially important role in directing protein synthesis. Nucleic acids were discovered in 1869 by Swiss biochemist Friedrich Mischer. The two types, the two main types of nucleic acid are DNA and RNA. So the diagram beside shows the diagram of DNA and RNA. The single unit of chromosomes which is made of nitrogen base and sugar is called nucleoside. The single unit of nitrogen base, sugar and phosphate molecule is called nucleotide. Nucleic acids are long chain like molecules composed of a series of nearly identical buildings block called nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of a nitrogen containing uh, aromatic base attached to a pentose sugar which in turn attached to a phosphate group. Each nucleic acid contains four of five possible nitrogen base nitrogen containing bases they are adenine which is denoted by capital a guanine which is denoted by capital g cytosine which is denoted by capital c uh, thiamine which is denoted by capital t and uracil which is denoted by capital u a and g are categorized as purines and c t and u are collectively called pyrimidines all nucleic acids contain the base a c and G, T, however, is found only in DNA while U is found in RNA. DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA, which stands for uh, ribonucleic acid, are two types of nucleic acid that play essentially a role in the storage and expression of genetic information in living organisms. First one is DNA deoxyribonucleic acid. So here is a diagram showing the deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA it is a long thread like structure found inside the cells carrying genetic information. DNA is found in the cytoplasm of prokaryotic cells and the chromosomes of the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. DNA of viruses is covered by a capsid or protein coat. In DNA, a single unit formed by the combination of a nitrogen base and deoxyribose sugar is called nucleoside. DNA it is a double stranded molecule that carries the genetic instructions necessary for the growth, development, functioning and reproduction of all known living organisms and many viruses. DNA consists of four nucleotide base that is adenine, thiamine, cytosine, and guanine. These, pair, these bases pair in a specific manner that is A with T 
and C with G, forming the famous double helix structure. DNA is located in the cell nucleus in eukaryotic cells where it is organized into structures called chromosomes. It primarily, uh, primarily serves as a long-term storage medium for genetic information. Genes are specific segments of DNA that encode the instruction for building and maintaining organisms. DNA replication occurs before cell division ensuring that each new cell receives a complete copy of genetic material. DNA carries hereditary information or characters in an organism. During cell division, hereditary information is transmitted by DNA from the mother cell to daughter cells, which helps in the transmission of characters from one generation to another. Next, nucleic acid is RNA. RNA it is a single stranded molecule that is involved in various cellular processes related to protein synthesis and gene regulation. It is a polynucleotide where each nucleotide is formed by the combination of a nitrogen base, ribose sugar and phosphate. It consists of four nucleotide base that is adenine, uracil, cytosine and guanine. Unlike DNA, RNA uses uracil instead of thiamine. There are several types of RNA, each with a distinct function. Messenger RNA, uh, mRNA. Messenger RNA, it carries the genetic information from DNA to ribosomes where protein synthesis takes place. Next one is transfer RNA, tRNA, transfers amino acids to the ribosomes during protein synthesis, ensuring that the correct amino acids are added in the proper order. Next one is ribosomal RNA, rRNA forms the structure and functional components of ribosomes where protein synthesis occurs. Small RNA molecules, these include the microRNAs and small interfering RNAs which play roles in gene regulation by inhibiting the expression of specific genes. The main function of RNA is to synthesize protein. RNA is synthesized through a process called transcription where a DNA template uh, is used to synthesize a complete, uh, co complementary RNA strand. Function of nucleic acid Storage of genetic information DNA contains the complete genetic blueprint of an organism and store information needed for the synthesis of RNA and proteins. Next one is transmission of genetic information. During cell division, DNA is replicated to ensure that each new cell receives a full copy of the genetic information. Next one is gene expression. RNA molecules are involved in translating the genetic information into functional proteins through processes like transcription and translation. Next one is regulation of gene expression. Small RNA molecules play roles in controlling which genes are expressed and when. Difference between DNA and RNA. Okay, on the basis of sugar type, DNA uh, it is deoxyribose, whereas RNA it is uh, uh, ribose. So DNA it contains nitrogenous bases like adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, whereas RNA contains uh, nitrogenous bases like uh, adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. DNA it is double stranded and uh, RNA it is single stranded. DNA it is mainly located in the cell nucleus, whereas RNA it is uh, located throughout the cells. The main function of DNA is uh, to uh, is long term storage of genetic information template for RNA synthesis whereas uh, RNA uh, it is responsible for transmitting genetic information, protein synthesis, gene regulation etc. 
DNA it is relatively stable whereas RNA it is more uh, susceptible to degradation. In DNA the basic pairs are adenine and thymine, uh, cytosine and guanine whereas in RNA uh, pairing the base are adenine and uracil, cytosine and guanine. Uh, DNA it is generally uh, of only one type and the RNA it is of several types. DNA provides template for RNA synthesis whereas RNA carries genetic information to ribosomes for protein synthesis. DNA, rep uh, DNA replication uh, occurs before uh, cell division whereas RNA transcription, uh, transcription to synthesize RNA. E structure of chromosomes. So it is a diagram showing the e structure of chromosomes. Chromosomes are ribbon-like structures found in nucleus of cell. Each chromosome is made of DNA and protein. Chromosome consists of chromatids and centromere. Centromere is also called kinetochore. Chromosomes is made of numerous genes. Similarly, each gene is made of DNA and the genes transmit hereditary characteristics from one generation to another. Due to these living beings carry certain characteristics, therefore chromosomes determine the characteristics of plants and animals. Genes The smallest fragment of DNA in a chromosome which codes or represents a specific character of an organism is called a gene. There are millions of genes in a chromosome. Gene helps in the transmission of hereditary characteristics from parents to offspring. Gene also helps in evolution by processes like, like mutation and genetic recombination. Hereditary characteristics. Those characteristics which are transmitted from one generation to another generation is known as the hereditary characteristics. Types of chromosome. First one is on the basis of function. So chromosomes are of two types on the basis of function. They are somatic chromosomes which are also called autosomes and sex chromosomes. First one is autosomes. Autosomes are non-sex chromosomes that are the same in both males and females. They carry genetic information responsible for the gender characteristic and traits of an individual. The chromosomes that determine the physical characteristics of an individual are called somatic chromosomes. In a pair of somatic chromosomes, each member has the same morphology. So these chromosomes, they are also called autosomes. Next one is sex chromosome. Sex chromosome determine an individual sex. In human females have two X chromosomes and males have one X and Y uh, and one Y uh, sex chromosome. The combination of sex chromosome determines an individual sex. XX results in a female and XY results in a male. The structure of each member of a pair of sex chromosome is different. And on the basis of presence and absence and position of the centromere, chromosomes are of four types. First one is metacentric chromosomes. Metacentric chromosomes have a centromere located near the center of the chromosome. This type of chromosome have two arms of roughly equal length. Next one is metacentric chromosomes. Metacentric chromosomes have a centromere located slightly off center resulting in one long arm and one short arm. Next one is acrocentric chromosomes. Acrocentric chromosomes have a centromere located near one end leading to one very short arm which is known as P arm and one longer arm which is known as the Q arm. Telocentric chromosomes. Telocentric chromosomes have a centromere located at at or very near one end of the chromosomes. They have only one arm extending from the centromeres. So here is a diagram showing the types of chromosomes telocentric, acrocentric, submetacentric and metacentric.
haploid cells the cells having n number of chromosomes is called haploid cells gametes contain haploid cells haploid cells or chromosomes diploid cells the cells having 2n number of chromosomes is called diploid cell and somatic or body cells contain diploid chromosomes number of chromosomes we know that human they have uh, 46 number of chromosomes that is 23 pair so uh, out of which 22 pairs of chromosomes they are autosome and one pair of chromosome it is sex chromosome which is differ in male and female in male uh, the a pair of sex chromosomes are xy and uh, in female a pair of sex chromosome is xx humans have 23 pair of chromosomes out of which 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair is sex chromosome male have a xy sex chromosome pairing 44 plus xy resulting total 46 and female have uh, xx sex chromosomes pairing 44 plus xx karyotype a karyotype is a visual representation of an individual's chromosomes arranged in a pairs based on size shape and banding patterns it is often used to identify chromosomal abnormalities and genetic disorders the particular arrangement of chromosomes that an individual possesses is called a karyogram. Number of chromosomes in different organisms. A diploid cell contains a pair of chromosomes or double set of chromosomes. All the plants and animals have a fixed number of chromosomes in their cell. However, the number of chromosomes varies in the cell of different living organisms. So human it has 40, 23 pair of chromosome, frog it has 13 pair, mice rat it has 20 pair, monkey 27 pair, onion 8 pairs, pea 7 pairs, rice 12 pairs, dosphila 4 pairs, potato 14 pairs, uh, sugarcane 40 pairs, dog 39 pairs, cow 30 pairs, pine 12 pairs, housefly 6 pairs, gorilla 24 pairs and mucor 1 pair. Sex determination. During sexual reproduction, the process of forming of male or female organism during the fusion of male gamete and a female gamete is called sex determination. Sex determination in human being. Each somatic that is diploid cell of a human being consists of 23 pair of chromosomes. Among them, 22 pairs are autosomes and remaining one pair is sex chromosome. Each diploid cell of male has 22 pair of autosomes and two pair types of sex chromosomes. XY, but each diploid cell of female has 22 pair of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome that is XX. When the male gamete having X chromosome fuses with a female gamete, baby girl is produced. And when the girl and when the male gamete having Y chromosomes fuses with a female gamete, baby boy is produced. During fertilization, the formation of a boy or a girl is 50%. So here is a chart showing the sex determination in a human being. Father that is male it has a, a XY sex chromosome whereas if your mother or female it has a XX sex chromosome. Since mother uh, it has both uh, it has a identical sex chromosome that is X uh, female or mother they have no role in sex determination. When the X chromosome of male fuses with X of female, then the female child is formed. Whereas when the Y chromosome of male fuses with X of female, male child is formed. The chart uh, shows that. And by this we have completed uh, notes of chromosomes uh, under unit heredity. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any queries, drop the comment in the comment section. See you on the next video. Thank you.